So two different random experiments could have the exact same outcome space, but really be fundamentally different processes. So let's just take the outcome space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This could be one roll of a six-sided die, right? So, in, Or it could also be that we have a bag filled with a whole bunch of tickets and little tiles, and each of those tiles has a number on them. And we're going to reach into that bag and pull out one of the numbers 1 through 6. Now, the thing that dis distinguishes them is the probability. So in, if they're dice, then the probability of 1 is uh, probably 2, all the way up, probably 6. Those are all equal to what? 1 sixth. <clears throat> now, let's say that we have one tile 1 in the bag example, and two tiles number 2, and so on, and three tiles number 3, and four tiles number 4, all the way up to you know, six tiles numbered 6, right? And if you add that all up, you'll see that the total number of tiles is 21. And so then the chance of getting a tile numbered 1 would be 1 out of 21. And the t chance of getting a tile number 2 would be one out of, 2 out of 21, and so on. So the distinguishing thing here is, is, is not the, the outcome space, but rather the probabilities. And this collection of probabilities is called the distribution. So in this case, we have the same outcome space, but different distributions. This, the value of the probability of each of the different outcomes, that collection is called the distribution. And we'll often talk about a certain outcome space with a certain distribution or probabilistic distribution or random distribution. All right. Now, some distributions are important and we give them special names. One of the most ex basic examples in probability theory is coin flipping. So we flip a coin and we either get a head or a tail. And maybe we denote that by either a zero or a one, just generically. Now, there's some chance of getting a head and there's some chance of getting a tail. So we have this outcome space of 0, 1, and we maybe define the probability of getting a 1 to be p and the probability of getting a 0 to be 1 minus p, usually denoted by q. Now p is, of course, a number between 0 and 1. This is called the Bernoulli distribution. And it has a special name named after one of the founding fathers of probability theory, Bernoulli. And we usually write B-E-R-P, Bernoulli, or write out actually the entire thing, Bernoulli-P. All right, so when we talk about a Bernoulli distribution, this is what we're talking about. 